Two seats on the North Carolina Supreme Court are up for re-election right now. And that could change the high court's political lean. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie introduces us to two judges in the running for one of those seats. Seat three on the state Supreme Court is currently held by Justice Robin Hudson, a Democrat. She's retiring this year. Vying to replace her are two current Court of Appeals judges, Republican Richard Dietz and Democrat Lucy Inman. Thank you both so much for joining me. The two colleagues appeared together recently on WRAL's On the Record. They agree they can't really talk about how they would rule on any given issue. They disagree on their judicial philosophy. Dietz said he works hard to come to a compromise all his colleagues can agree with. In eight years as a Court of Appeals judge, I'm the only judge who's never written a dissent. And the reason is because I really believe in this idea of collaboration and consensus building. So I work hard with my colleagues and say, let's think about all these issues. If we disagree, let's work through it. Inman said she also believes in consensus, but when she has written dissents, the state Supreme Court has agreed with her and overturned the majority ruling. If we have exhausted all of our efforts at collaborating, and I believe that the majority of the panel that I'm serving on is misstating the law, is breaking from precedent without a good reason. It is my duty to stand up for what is right and to write a dissent. Even though both Dietz and Inman say they're not partisan judges, the partisan balance of the court is very much at stake in this race. The current political balance of power on the high court is four Democrats and three Republicans. Two seats held by Democrats are up for election this year. If Republicans win even one, they will have the majority on the court. That could change the outcome of cases likely to come before the court next year, including abortion laws, voting rights, and education funding. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh.